Slacks fan, by the way, with Cinderin. I feel like in homage Hero cooldown time. <laughs> of Slacks, we should just talk about Omni Knight the whole game. What yeah. do you think? He's not even in the game, but well, we can still talk about back. how he fits in the lineup for each specific team. Yeah. Slacks might as well be the third member on this casting. I mean, we could do that. <laughs> But then yeah. we need to discuss the what hero he would be replacing in the draft as well. Yes, of course. So I don't know. I just I just want to say when Slack says he's 25th best Omni Knight in, in the world. Yes. I did not believe him. Actually, he, he, you check. Did you check I his Dota? I actually checked. Yeah, that is not an official list. He's probably <laughs> bottom 10. It's, it's the same thing when I when I brag about being uh, I was sixth with Centaur at one point. Now I'm like 200th. But I just stopped playing Centaur at some point. I mean, this kid just grinds and grinds and grinds. And I mean, you have to take into account also the fact that nobody actually plays the hero. So it's a very limited pool of people. That also is, keep that in mind for yeah, sure. That is true. So Nip versus CIS Rejects. This doesn't mean a whole lot for CIS Rejects, but Nip, they have a decent amount of line as the courier. You mean vice versa? What did I say? You said it doesn't mean so much for CIS. Yeah. If they win 2-0, they actually have a chance to get... I thought they were completely out. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me check again. Yes. By all means, Alt-Tab while I cast by myself. I, I appreciate <laughs> that. We literally just talked about this, by the way. Just just throwing it out yeah, there. Yeah, and I but. actually... To let me see. <laughs> yeah, they did lose 2-0 to... No. If, if these guys 2-0... No, no. They have no way. No yes. way. So yeah, as I was out. saying, before you rudely interrupted me, CIS Regis have no chance of being top two. Nip, on the other hand, I think they're guaranteed top two, but number one is not guaranteed until they get... Uh, it depends on what happens with Monkey... Monkey business, if I'm not mistaken. If NIP win this 2-0, they're secured number one. If they get a draw, they could tie with Monkey for first, and they drew for that as well. So then they technically would have to rematch, right? Uh, to for seed. I don't know if it, if that's a part of the rules or not, but nobody knows what the rules are, Cinder. In this, we're just winging everything. You yeah. Know? I mean, the whole three points for 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 two wins makes a whole lot of sense in a series of two games, right? It's a very good way of avoiding tiebreakers and rewarding teams that do. Um, how to say it? it, it rewards you more for being good against a specific uh -oh. team than it rewards you for just being stable. Oh, oh my, that actually was not nearly enough damage, but uh, Goretz now on the run as the Tusk offlane. And top lane, we're going to have a lot of Iron Shell damage being a part here. Vanscore on the run, gets off the LSA, Arts. How do you say Arts or Artes? I think it's Arts. Arts. Because right. I've heard, very I've heard nice both Goretz, he, he has actually changed the way he writes his nickname <laughs> so that you can't miss Yeah, finally, well, we <laughs> actually started pronouncing it correctly, and then he actually just yeah. says this now. So So now we're going to call him Gorich, as yeah, we Gorich. used to. Yeah. Is that just to mess with him? I, think I it's thought good. it was him that actually told us to pronounce it that way. I guess not. Goretz? No, gore, like the Goretch. No, that was just, that was me. Okay, you're just trolling as I, usual. No, not is this for I, real? I was just guessing. Are we, is this a pub game? <laughs> I feel like this is failed. Cliff's Weekly, brought to you by Sir Action Slacks. <laughs> what? This is a uh, very efficient farming. For, as you can see, Nature's Prophet does a lot of damage. Gets the baby centaur, and he's going to be working on this guy for quite a while. We can you come back what? to him in a few minutes. They picked this prophet, and they picked Necrophos, and then Necro realized he couldn't do Ancients. That was their strat all along. <laughs> they wanted to do double AFK farm. <laughs> and now their strat doesn't work. What do you think about that change? No uh, no Heartstopper on Ancients. I think it's I mean, great. It, it's great for pub games, yes. but... <laughs> and it wasn't being used in competitive it's, anyway, it's, so who cares? It's technically, <laughs> it was technically viable, and no. as long as you don't get ganked. It was technically garbage. All right, if you don't get ganked, you're saying it wasn't viable. Is that right? Oh. As, oh, well, how would you not the get power ganked? Shot. Because you're playing against people like Strax and Sector, only play Omni Knight. Well, Vanscore is going to be the first blood as Ion Shell's continuing to do a ton of damage. Always want to fight. Gets off his cliff and then just dies to the Ion Shell. Ends up being a trade of sorts, a 2 for one at the current moment. Should have stayed on the cliff, I think. Profit. Yep. Basically, just give them a yeah. uh, Well, if he didn't show up, Arx wouldn't have got the kill. Oh, Jonas. Oh, he's going to up enough. This is enough. What and level is that? He's going to drop down to 25. 25? All right, I'm going to say 16. Oh, he's dropping to. Okay, okay, it's not okay, hitting him mind. yet. Uh, 50. All right, All right, not even close. Good. Yep. That is the new Death Pulse, by the way. Quite powerful. Buffed early game. Why did it sure. disappear? It didn't. He was, it was just inside him for a little bit. Didn't quite want to tickle inside him okay. all the way, if that makes any sense. All right, so apparently we got some it lag. It might have been lag that made the projectile disappear. <laughs> I mean, it sounds... That could be. I mean, it doesn't look like anything funny like for us. It's, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Iceberg, a little bit of trouble. Limp you said on the first. run. Takes a couple of right clicks. Hanskin doing a nice job of zoning him out. Limp's going to be able to get that rune. In the top area, heard of Nature's Prophet teleportation off this cliff again as the Iron Shell getting another kill as Limp stuck inside the Sprout, blinks out of harm's way, always want to fly a second death from the cliff, hasn't learned his lesson yet, unfortunately for him. Johannes Smith fan, 
on the run with the Surge. Vanscore and Gorads really want to go on this, but it's the Hanskin again with the charge. Double kill for the Ion Shelling Darkseer. And that's three kills in the blink of an eye in favor of Nip. What's going on? It's a pub game, man. This is like an all-star match. It's gonna be it's gonna be real fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Gotcha. All right, he's maxing teleport and sprout. He hasn't skilled trance. Oh, it's good. At least he's stacking the jungle for his necrophos, so he can go to. No, I think he's just showing. Stack. He's trying to make a representation of what a pub game is usually like, with uh, nature's profit. This is based. He knows that Sir Action Slacks is here casting the game, and he wants to show Slacks. This is the new hero for you, man. Instead of War Omni Knight, go for some Nature's Prophet on the cliff. Sir Action Slacks is pretty decent with Omni, right? He's like 4,500 MMR. No, he's terrible. All right, he's he says he's 6K. Yeah. Not too good. 6K, my ass. Oh, we have another Sprout from Always Wanna Fly. Oh, look cool suck inside the Sprout, and there's the Reaper Scythe. And away the Fat Cow goes for 50 seconds. Sonic Wave use on Arts. On the run, takes a Shadow Strike. LSA completely misses. Wall is just there for visual effect, if nothing else. And away they run. And another Sprout onto Limp. Blink is going to be up in one second. Doesn't have any mana now. Uses the, the Scream of Pain. Shackle not going to connect. And away he blinks. So after all that, only one death. And I mean, we're seeing the power of the Reaper Scythe so far on the sidelines is there's the nightmare into avalanche <laughs> the same thing again Toss combo Gorets taking the brain sap pure damage I guess when you have uh, when you have auto attack after spell usage on uh -huh. and you cast toss on the target who's slept you immediately try to attack it so you sleep instantly that was the second time in a row that era gets hit by the nightmare oh, interesting okay so I think either you have to wait until the first pebble of avalanche is hit so that he breaks nightmare and then you toss the or... first pebble yep I was gonna bring up a reference, but maybe not. Pebbles? Oh, you actually know it. Yeah. Very good. I, I was really excited when they up, when I they changed up some the... trash references from. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of hot trash left trash. on uh, in Dota for sure. But there ever is... since they changed the toss mechanic, where the closest unit gets tossed, it's helped Tiny out quite a bit. I Meaning he doesn't necessarily need to have IO in the game to be useful. But expecting him to pick up a Blink Dagger as his first time he's going to take a charge with the Ion Shell doing more damage. LSA does connect along with the Dragon Slave on two. And that might be enough to force them out. As Limp coming in. Shadow Strike on the Arse. They're going to focus on Lina though. Van scoring a lot of trouble. LSA misses and he looks to be dead. Gets off one more Dragon Slave but not going to help him in the end. Oh god. Goraz actually finds his way on the other Let's side of the game. Oh, this time he waited. He learned. He noticed he just created a little more distance. <laughs> yeah. So he wasn't close enough to auto attack after the toss. So going quite one. well for Nip. Do you prefer NIP or Nip, by the way? Yes. In, in CS it was Nip. So I mean, back in the day at least. It was. Don't yeah. they call him NIP now? Well, now yeah, now they do. But this is like more old school references. So I'm, so I'm guessing that they. Like we don't want to be associated with Mott Nips, essentially. No. Charge onto Windrunner. Yeah, he's actually going to go for it. Doesn't have his ultimate yet, so it's just going to be more harassment than anything else. Zones him out, bottom rune is available, and air is going to pick it up. Is being bounty rune. Yeah, I expect that's the one to got. be the next item. He got the bounty rune, you're right. Thank you. I'm not sure why you said it out so clearly. Uh, he got a bounty rune, by the way. It's very useful on Tiny when he's playing safe lane. Gets a little extra farm, a little extra XP in case you didn't realize. Oh, that's, Cinderin. that's good on quite a few heroes, I think. Yep. And Klopp has the regeneration rune. If you weren't aware of that, what that does, it regens your health and mana over time. Is this the noob cast with Purge? There's also a yeah, neutral yeah, creep everybody. named Roshan that drops ages. I had to explain this so many oh, times Purge. to the huh? I had to explain how Roshan works so many times. Though. Oh, yeah. And I, I have some scars emotionally for sure. from both that and Razor. All right, so, so let's let's be serious for a moment here. Why? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Pimp. Thank you, JJ. Yeah, I think um, I think CRS are screwed. Is Great, uh, thank you. I could have said that for God's sake. Yeah, <laughs> they haven't drafted that good of a lineup, and they are losing the early game. They're down seven kills. Their Necrophos is actually getting decent farm, so that's that's pretty good. He has treads. What's he go for in this scenario? 
What's your build on Necro? Looks like Atos is the choice oh, here. God. With the Vitality Booster. I think it's one of, one of, the, like one of the only no, heroes in the game that this item is, is regularly good on. What do you like uh, more, Necro. SNY or... Or Atos. I know you're a real big fan of both items. On Necrophos? Just in general. <laughs> yeah, yeah. SNY and Necro, of course, is yeah. great. I mean, yeah, I, come on. Good. SNY is way better, in my opinion. Generally. So you've changed your opinion over no, time. No, I, I never liked Zion Atos that much. All right, do you like SNY now, though? Yes. I think it's a good item. Boy, uh, you've just been brainwashed, no, no, haven't you? Because the, the thing I always said was I'm really not a fan of SNY when players get it, like, past minute 30, and I'm still not a fan of that. I wish we could go back and just look of, at your cast, because I don't remember that. that minute 20, I think so. over time you've added that as, like, uh, a an sub, excuse. A, a clause? Yeah, like, <laughs> by the way, what I meant was two years ago when I said this, but... Uh, nature's pro Well, he's level 6 now, so the cliff jungling has worked out quite well. Uh, he's still not so much. I wonder what made him change uh, his approach to the game. Oh, if it was because he felt like the cliff wasn't safe anymore, <laughs> or if... Um, if you figure that the maybe cliff is never safe, man. Oh yeah, he's uh, maybe the shockwave is a little scary. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nice LSA on the surging dark seer. He's gonna take a death pulse and a reaper scythe and bye bye. Sonic wave on two though. The counter initiation from Limp. He's gonna try to find Vanscore, but the LSA does clip him. He's gonna live through the day. One for one exchange right now. As Arts and Tusk finally find the quap. It's a two for one. Arts gonna continue to right click, but he is now on the run. As Nature's Prophet finds Handskin, has the charge up. Uses on a melee target, gets the kill, or helps get the kill with Tiny. Right clicking away still to his heart's content. Three for one. Era, haste rune activated. He should be okay. Has 1400 gold. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh, that toss! Wow. Insane, that arm! Wow! Wow! Thank you, Cinderin. <laughs> oh, the shackle does not oh, latch to the wall. Oh my lord, he's gonna get another combo. Taking out the Windrunner. He's stuck though, Sprout keeps him in place, oh, and finally he gets killed. Done. That was actually on the edge for Vanscore. I did clip him. Endless aggression oh, here as Spearbreaker is charging as well. That was pretty good for CIS Rejects actually. They got a lot of uh, gold on their Necro again. He stays alive, he took oh, the, yeah. the hero for Feels a long good. time. Need one bash or do you even? Oh! One more. Oh! The Sprout, two OP. Cows oh, can't wow. see over trees. LSA that was very nice. does connect. Just gonna force him out. And back to the standby. 12 to 6 for NIP. It's possible he wouldn't have got out of that gank if he had teleport level 1. Because maybe it would have been on cooldown then. That's a great point. Thank you, Cinder and Guards. Right, guards is being charged. Charged up, shadow stricken. When you're charged, there's this circle above you with horns. Yeah, I love that icon. It means you're about to get destroyed by a cow. It means you're being charged. <laughs> Welcome to the noob stream, by the way. Iceberg, wind run. What's a charge? Oh, gets the shackle into a double power shot, triple power shot. In fact, he's going to cost with his life, though. It's two for nothing exchange. As we have TP support from CIS Rejects, Reaper Sight. That's the third usage of it on three kills, actually. It's a three for three, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they're staying alive. They somehow live through the day. Like the Bee Gees. These references are so god awful, they're great. That's what yes. I love about you, Cinderin. I am very good at being bad. <laughs> Era, 1800 gold. Okay. Once he gets a blink dagger, this is going to be all over the place. He's going to be constantly ganking. He already is, though. As Limp and Era want to find, always want to fly. He's really good with these sprouts. Oh, that toss, though. Oh, my. The right click just barely enough to get the kill. That's that's pretty good. That he Even though he doesn't... I love your comment. This is pretty good. Yeah, so he didn't deal damage with toss, but he removed the trees. And that was actually necessary to get the kill. Uh, so if you aren't aware, then Sprout creates a circle of trees <laughs> around your hero, and they can be destroyed like other trees. Yeah. Uh, that was actually a thought I had at one point. Do you think it would be imbalanced if Sprout, if the trees it made could not be removed, and then you nerfed it somehow? So, like, what would the nerf be? Longer cooldown or shorter duration or something? Wait, like it could so, be removed so in any way, like but power then shot. Be, then it would be similar to kinetic field, I guess. It's part of the flair of the abilities that it interacts with terrain, yeah, I guess. You gotta love the flair in Dota. Be a little boring, I guess. Why hasn't Eric picked up a quelling blade? That was a really bad suggestion. Thanks for that, Suns fan. Yep, no problem. Always me. Yeah. Why no quelling blade? I mean, he has the blink now. Yeah. For the Sprout, and obviously it's good once he gets Aghanim set Yeah, I think one of their heroes should at least have a Quelling Blade. Uh, probably Spirit Breaker would be kind of nice on, but... Well, they still have some decent counters, right? Even if they don't have Vision, they have Avalanche, they could Vacuum away the trees, they can Sonic Wave and Scream through it. There's plenty of... Uh, I'm holding out hope for like here. a 45-minute Tango as the 6th inventory slot for the for Air on Tiny. That's my personal hope in this game. As we have a Smoke by Nip, 3-man Smoke that is. 
Uh, gonna be debuting the Blink Dagger very shortly as Seal Kid taking a Walrus Punch to the face. Oh. Dodges some spells thanks to Nightmare. Wait. Is he actually gonna get out? Nope. Laguna Blade is used, but maybe that's not so bad as the, the smoke gank is about to ensue here for, for NIP. Oh, here comes Era XMG. <laughs> Yep. Shout out to XMG for sponsoring each player. Uh, it looks like Nako and Extrafy might be in trouble, <laughs> but Extrafy will get the last two. I don't even know who that is, by the way. Uh, who is that? They got a double kill, so they're really good. <laughs> Nako? I don't know half these companies, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. But we're gonna continue. The reason it's XMG playing the Queen of Pain is that it's fast and it's mobile, like a laptop. <laughs> Man, what a sell. Yeah, that is so oh, good, oh, actually. Awesome. What a charge from <laughs> Izo. Very fast refresh rate on that charge. End. How am I the one being more serious than you in a cast? This is a first occurrence. I have rubbed off on you way too much, and Slacks being here does not How help. How do you rub off sure. cast for you? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Just hanging around me is enough. That's a good shackle shot. I, these comments, man, what has happened to you? Well, it's... Alright, I'm gonna be you. You be me, okay. I'll be you. Okay, go All ahead. Right. I love memes. <laughs> what a shadow strike. Alright, so it looks like Hanskin will get this, uh... A decent another strike off. I don't know if they can actually finish Always Want to Fly on this occasion, though. He's kind of in a good position in the side. Goretz going on to Hanskin as well. They get... What was, what was that exchange all in all? Two for three? Oh, Overtime no, was two okay. for three, yeah. But here comes Era with another ab... Where the hell did... Wait. That toss, what? What was he tossing him on? I don't even know. Was he TPing tossing target? Him? He yeah. was tossing him on Profit, yeah. and then Profit TP'd out, so... There's a there's a max range that it can go, so it ends but up... But it still flies in the direction. Yes. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that before, actually. I've seen it. Somebody get stuck on the cliff before because of that, actually. Middle uh, really? Yeah, it's actually pretty insane. That's super rare, though. It was the cliff by Roshan, it was just out of nowhere. So that is, the only way that interaction can work is on teleports. Because Blink doesn't take you far enough, you always toss onto the blinking target, right? Yes, I believe so. what's the so. max range? It's like 2k? That's a great question that I don't have the answer to. Um, what does it say it, here? Says, it says 1300 range, but I, I've seen it yeah, go... That's just the range of the toss. No, I've seen it go farther than that, though. I've seen it go way farther. Oh, yeah, yeah. The 1300 is just the toss range where you can start the toss, but I think it can travel like 3k range or something. Yeah, it, it's quite a bit, that's for sure. As well, 21 to 10 advantage for NIP. Sprout's going to be on the Honest Fan. The easy shackle inside the Sprout. Waller's Punch, he's still not dead. Mech keeps him alive, but the Reaper Scythe, bye-bye for 68 seconds he goes. Here comes Era though. Avalanche toss on the Arts, and down he goes. It's a one-for-one one to start this engagement off. Beautiful oh, shackle good. shot on two heroes. Era's going to be forced to die in that engagement. Handskin trying to run away, blocked off by the Ice Shards, Get the, gets the charge off onto Iceberg. He gets nightmared up at the last second. This is going to be four dead for NIP, Man. and all they lost for CIS was Necro. That was such a good double shackle shot that really set that up for them. And of course, NIP, they feel like they have to go on the Necrophos in these situations, else he just deals way too much damage over time and heals too much. But they had to commit all those abilities and just set up for, for CIS rejects to land their combos very well. What was that a two-man shackle shot, a two-man light striker? Was it even three? They got double or triple snowball and everything. Very nice from them. They get the tower too. Oh, this is my least favorite profit build of all oh, time. Oh, I love this. I love this. I hate this item build. It's almost so always against somebody much. like uh, a Skyrath mage, it right? It's. I this guess, is against Tiny more than anything, I yeah, guess. Yeah, in all fairness, it's actually good against NIP's lineup. There was a phase when every single profit in pub <laughs> would go this build. Yeah. I think it was uh, Bone 7 that popularized it from one or two competitive games, and everyone was just buying it without understanding why it's good. And in this game, it's actually decent, so I can get behind it. If you want to get it, this is the type of game you want it in. No band score. Gonna end up dropping here from the charge slash shadow strike of Limp. And, oh, looks like Air is going to be going even more mobility on top of that Blink Dagger. And we've seen this before, of course, with the Shadow Blade. Is there any... I haven't seen him upgrade it to a Silver Edge. Is there any reason for, to getting that this game? To to break any you can, What can you break? I mean, Fiery Sadist, Soul, Sadist, Heartstopper... Nah. I think that's about it. That's not that great. No. I have fortified their towers. You know what would be great? What's that? Sanjin Yasha. I wouldn't be surprised. So, I mean, well, Era, I wouldn't be surprised, but it is Era, so you never know. But yeah, I, I doubt it this game. Uh, what does he go after Shadowblade? Does he just finally get the Agnum Scepter, or does he go even something more crazy? 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, Agonis is like a safe. He has to be a carry this game. He was obviously he was even drafted into position one, which is why I'm a little bit surprised he or well, Shadowblade is nice. It's not that's not the issue, but usually you would see in a game like this where Tiny has to play this role that he would maybe go for an Ags earlier in his build than than other times. Do you miss Necro? In general, as being an, like a big pick. When when uh... it's like three or four years ago. Maybe even more. What? Three or four years ago? Has Necro been a big pick Dota 2 like, ever? Like, maybe eight months ago, or close to a year ago. It was before the patch that introduced Glimmer Cape. He was, I mean, I'm not saying every game he was picked, but he was decently common. Well, like we saw a lot of Kuro when, when he was on Secret. Big pick, I'm thinking he gets picked or banned almost every oh, game. Oh, okay. No. I, I can't remember that being the case ever in Dota 2. Maybe oh, once. Okay, just him being played on a semi-consistent yeah. basis. I think it's a cool hero to watch. I think he's very entertaining. I, I'm not a big fan of the Axe version of his ult. I feel like it's too game-breaking. This has been well documented, of course. Um, yeah. Your hatred towards that. <laughs> well, I kind of agree to a certain extent, of course. As this mid tower for NFP is going to be taken out, Charge is going to somehow connect the iceberg, just happened to be in the pathway, and down he goes. Nice little uh, side kill there for NIP. And I was going to say, I think CIS rejects. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, that's, that's not a good mid usage. Mech at the last second. Are they going to actually go on an arts? Oh, they got Limp. grip too. He's no one in even close range to try to help him here. And that's two for nothing. They might just continue on to push this tier two mid, although they're going to go into the enemy jungle looking for another kill. But Gortz is going to get it in time. And I was just about to say that I, I feel like CIS have actually done a very good job of coming back into this game after a terrible early game. Uh, they did take a couple of good fights, and looking at the graphs, they were never really very far behind. As a matter of fact, they were hit. Oh, that was very early in the game. Then they started losing out. I thought they were trolling, two good fights. honestly, at the beginning because of the, the cliffing Nature's Prophet is going, is going to be caught from the Orchid. He is stuck in mid-air and dies there, apparently. <laughs> that is not good. That's got to hurt. I mean, there's there's no there's no r logical reason why he would cliff jungle instead of jungling in his in his own woods with uh, with trance, I would say, in this game. I, I If you cliff jungle, it's a, an act of desperation because you can't farm your own woods, but NIP right. weren't invading at all. So that, to me, looked like they were just clowning around a little bit, but Thank they've God. picked up... <laughs> oh, nice teleport here. He got one lost. attack off by the Ancients and teleported to the other side of the map and got the second attack. Yeah. Quite convenient. But that it looks like really working out well. He wouldn't have gotten that without it. Even if they're obviously have nothing to win here, uh, CIS rejects. They still they drafted something unorthodox, and they were looking a little bit clowny in the start. But it looks like they're actually putting up a fight and not just messing around. So they've they've done a, a pretty admirable job with their draft. That, in my opinion, should after the start just have been in really big trouble against an IP. It's still a close game. Yep. Well, Era popping that Shadow Blade, gonna pick up the regen in all likelihood. But he do, it doesn't. Oh, he could be going for the Axe still. Typically, you see the point booster first. It could be a BKB. How's BKB this game? It's good against Reaper Scythe, Laguna Blade. Obviously, he gets Aghanim Scepter. Not that great. I mean, you can stop the Shackle Shot. You can stop Tusk Snowball. Would you actually get BKB this early? As Tiny, I feel like you still go Axe, and then you can get a BKB a little bit later. Mm. Plus, you don't get if you get BKB, you don't get hit by the the blade mail of nature's prophet. Hard yeah, counter to I the mean, blade that's, mail. That's kind of nice. I think. Oh, that's a very early Ags. It's a great item, obviously, just taking a hero out of the game. I think he needs to get Ags on era. I don't. I don't feel like they're gonna be able to farm enough to take this uh, very well into the mid late game. The problem is they're ahead 26-14, and it's really deceptive because they're leading the game as minimal, oh, and they might think scared. they're far ahead. Gets shackled up again, stuck in midair. This is Wait, lag, what? if nothing else. Reaper Scythe finishes him off. 75 seconds on the deck, cannot buy back. Not that he would. That is Roche, potentially. That's what's so strong about this Axe of Great. You just know when you get that kill that you have a 5-1-4. Yep. Uh, they can lose a Roche fight, of course, to a good vacuum and Sonic Wave combination, or even just vac wall on the cliff. Oh. Era being oh, scouted out. Shadow Blade? Little, little Shadow touch. Blade away. Oh, now they dusted. Yeah, I heard the dust late. sound. Yep. A tad too late there, but... Nature's Prophet, I believe. Is he working on the the Necro? Yes. Yeah, it looks like he is. That's going to be good against the Shadow Blade of Tiny, obviously. And split push. Split push for the win. Okay, it is going to be an Ags. Yeah. Unless he's just collecting these items at random, but <laughs> you never know with Era. But BKB four staff simultaneously. <laughs> Four staff's pretty good though. Yeah. Actually, I think yeah. last time was it him that was playing? He got four staff as well before the ags. I think that was like ultra mobility. Oh right? yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
But it was it was a different type of game. That's also not a position one tiny. Bamboo was playing position three, I think, in that game. Um, I think he was two. Was he two? Wasn't he? Didn't they play mid deck? Actually, I can't remember. Either way. Oh yeah, they played IO tiny. He was mid. Yeah, I think you're right. The frozen sigil being used on Roche. And stay here forever. Well, they're still gonna get it because nobody's even close for NIP. Goretz is gonna come out with a helping hand. Nature's Prophet as well. He held Roshan more than his team so far. He rolled in to get his land. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Just wanted to give a proper hello to good old Roshan. Necrophos is one of the best heroes in the game to give Aegis to, so they yep. take it on Wind Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Well, so the reason it's so good on Necro is that killing this hero off in the first place can get difficult in the mid late game And he deals so much damage over time So in an extended fight having the ages on him forcing the enemies to use big cooldowns and then having to fight after just the damage from heart stop aura uh, How much he benefits from getting the the mana back as well that component if he dies late in the fight He can really use his mana pool very well mm -hmm. uh, So I, I like Ags or sorry the ages on that hero a lot when he is the one. Oh too. boy seal kick getting caught out with the shackle shot but Windrunner knows that she's being charged ends up getting out of dodge another courier because they had a point booster on it in the base always want to fly takes it out that's going to delay I believe that was part of the ags for for tiny almost has enough too he only needs 100 gold <laughs> to finish it but can't do so until the courier's back the last time he killed the courier it also had that point booster what the last time he killed the courier it also had that when he killed you this remember when he, when he teleported twice yeah yeah it had, oh, a, it had the point booster then it too? had a worth of 1200 when he killed that, that did it again <laughs> that poor point booster will never see the it's light actually of been out of the game for like was that four minutes now <laughs> arrow would have had it that's truly it's still link his full axe because i think he has the money for it now yeah, now he does so it's gonna be about three minutes till he can get the axe but um... he can of course choose to buy a new one if he loses the curry again i think he's gonna buy one <laughs> let's buy another one on his hero yeah, i wouldn't be too surprised with that go that's being out of trouble here at bot lane. Who do you like late game? I mean, Necro is one of those heroes that's just super difficult to play against, especially if he ends up going, uh, like, Refresher, and then... What else would he go? I guess, so he has Ags, he would go Refresher, Octarine Core would be pretty standard. I think it'd be too late to go anything like Blood, so maybe he wants to go a little bit mobility with a Blink Dagger at some point. But having two heroes deleted, even if you're behind, you could just win the game outright just from that. And I think mm -hmm. BKB has to be picked up at some point for Era, probably after the Axe. Yeah, they're gonna need BKBs on the Radiant. Uh, how much mana does Necro have right now in his arsenal? So 1600 is, I think Reaper Scythe level 3 costs 500, so that's, re with Refresher, comboing just those two is yeah. almost 1400. Well, so keep in mind, if you're gonna be getting a kill with it with Sadis level 4, you're gonna get a hell of a lot of mana back That's true, you get mana back very fast, you have 16 one charges, so obviously you might not have that at that point. Um, but still, there are definitely I don't think it's out of the question that he gets Refresher right now. If he doesn't, I think between, for me, it's between Hex and a BKB for himself, maybe. There's a lot of magic damage on the Radiant still uh, that he yep. could have. I mean, there are a couple blocking. things that go through, but I mean, obviously yeah. Fiend's Grip. I believe Mana Drain goes through BKB as well, the Mana Drain from the Fiend's Grip. And of course, Spirit yeah. Breaker's Nether Strike goes through completely. But as long as he doesn't get burst down by magic damage, they can save him with Snowball. And then play yeah, from there. True. That's a good so, point. I think I think BKB is a very nice choice. Uh, that would probably be my go-to here, and then into Refresher because his mana pool is big enough. Since he went for Atos, that's a nice part about that item is it's one of the most cost-effective items in the game for the stats it gives compared to what it costs. Its active is just very often very underwhelming in competitive Dota since it doesn't work on BKB. Uh, a lot of the time you play against heroes who have Blink Dagger, then the slow doesn't really matter that much. You right, can't use it, to catch. If it went through BKB, would it be picked up every game? Is that like too much? It would be picked up a lot more. Do you think it would be overpowered? Yes. I think so. All right. Then it would be really sick against a lot of these BKB melee heroes, at least. I yeah. think it would change the meta so much that melee BKB heroes would be picked up very little. It's an incredible kiting item, then. Yeah, we have a four-man smoke here from CIS Rejects. Gorat's leading the way. Of course, they have the Aegis on the Windrunner. She almost has Ags. Only one component away. Won't be too long for that. I, yeah, Ags finally finished on air. The Courier respawned. And he's praising good Lord Gaben for that. Steel Kid's gonna run into Tusk. Gets the Nightmare off, but the Shackle Shot will find him. And down he goes to the Reaper's Scythe. The Aghanim Scepter deleted. 70 seconds. I'm wondering if they should have done that. 
It's great deleting a hero from the game, but it was Bane. And yep. well, it's oh, yeah. On any occasion, you sh you can. You should probably just do that. Uh, more or less. It's again five on four, and they push tower. So that lags. Yeah, it looks like it's lagging a decent amount. Just spikes every now and then. Hopefully that doesn't carry over into uh, the second phase of the the playoffs here. For, but those will take place tomorrow. I believe they're starting for every region, correct? I believe so, yes. So hopefully it gets fixed for that. Uh, but if it's an if it's an not just a European server problem, then of course there's also the American qualifiers in China later. I do think it's just the Europe servers that are having a little bit of a hiccup, though. Man, CS rejects in this game are really... They look pretty good. I thought this game would be over now, yep. to be completely honest. And there are 10 kills behind, but it's a 3k gold advantage for an IP, and I don't think that is remotely significant right now. It's just the flow of the game is really favoring CIS. They've taken more towers uh, than an IP in the last 10 minutes. I think they're actually even on towers in total, the two teams now. Two tier twos remaining for both. And in addition to that, just better map control, it seems. And we have a five-man smoke from NIP. Charge leading away his hand skin. He's going to get too far ahead of his teammates at this rate. Is he going to bash these creeps? to no, cancel not quite. He was charging the Wind Ranger. I think she still has the Aegis as well. Oh, they're so. going to run it. Always want to fly. Smoke breaks. They know he's there. Gets orchided up. He's going to pop his blade now. Is he going to save his life? UAV popped by Limp. Charge is going to cancel the TP and always want to fly. He's going to drop to the deck. Meanwhile, Walrus Punch coming out. Arts gets off his ultimate, but it's on hand skin. Is that the important target? I'm not sure. 80 seconds, he is gone. Necro costs his life in the meantime. Two for one exchange. Make it three as Tusk gets destroyed by Queen of Pain. Vance score on the run. Ion Shell doing okay. That wall was unfortunate. Will it matter is the question no. and is no. Great caster's curse. CIS rejects are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I, I thought that was a, an Octarine core on Darkseer. I thought I saw the animation. It was like, that's... Yeah. Second item. item on the hero. Second item Octarine. I love that item on the hero, but generally I would say you get it after you have one or two active items, so you can lower the cooldown and say a blink and a four staff or on your greaves or, you know, he has the mech and soul ring that it's still, that still benefit from it, but it's not that great. Yep, we're gonna have a buyback. He just wanted the tankiness, I think. It's obviously great health. Buyback is saved on Necker. He had it available, did not want to use it. Did Windrunner end up using her Aegis, or does it expire now? Because, I mean... I mean, it's, it's gone it, one way or another. Did it expire? Another. I don't think she used it, so I, I can't remember her expired. losing it. So yeah, yeah. I mean, right. of oh, course, yeah, we talk about how CIS rejects have this necro, <clears throat> excuse me, this necro factor where he can delete heroes off the map. But at the same time, if Nip wins a fight and there may not be Sorry, full buybacks on CIS rejects, Tiny's just going to destroy your racks in the blink of an eye. Yeah, and I mean, once he gets something like an assault curious, actually, is he going for BKB first here on on Tiny? Um. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be BKB first, and I assume Assault after that. Yeah, they need some sort of attack speed. He can choose to go prioritize Moonshard over it if he feels like he really needs attack speed, right. since there's no IO and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Did he oh, he warded that it, Yeah, he warded it at TP least. Toward, that's decent. Man, Darkseer looks crazy with Octarine. Yeah. Oh, no. this like, was... this is going to end up breaking the game at some point, right? Like, imagine this 60 minutes in with Octarine, Darkseer. <laughs> Alright, so I said... I said they weren't clowning around, but... Now they're all chatting that Prophet's on the cliff when he's not. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think NIP appreciate strategy, this man. very much. Did they not respond? No. Yeah, they're taking this super serial. As they should. Because number one may be It wasn't that good line. of a joke, so I don't know if I would have responded. Oh, yeah, that's that's a long-range nether blast, as, or nether strike, I should say. His iceberg takes an orchid. He's going to probably drop to the soul burn. Indeed, he does. BKB pop by limp. Arts doesn't really want to stick around here, does he? Era just destroying that poor tusk. It's a two for nothing at the start of this fight, and a sonic wave is going to ensure that this fight is going to go Nip's way. Last on the list is Vance score. He's trying to run away, but will not be so lucky. That's a full team wipe in favor of Nip, and this might just be Rax mid. All right, this went all kinds of wrong. Ever since you started complimenting CIS Rejects, <laughs> they have just fallen apart. <laughs> they're losing at least one lane here. Even though Tiny doesn't have an attack speed item, I think they're still... Well, he does have the Shadow Blade in Treads. It's something. Prophet will buy back, but he's the only one with it, and I are not going to be phased by this whatsoever. Yeah, if they're going to go for the mid-racks, they could go for Roche right after, or maybe even focus on a second-racks, or at least a tier 3 tower. See how safe they play it. 
Dyer's middle Are they going to head towards top and confidence. do a little bit of damage? Dyer's top tower is being attacked. Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling about this, obviously. I mean, they have 20 seconds with Necro on the deck, so I think they can take this as well. Really? Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's great on that hero, so I don't blame them, but mostly you would put it on the tiny. Well, the partial initiation from CIS Rejects. Not him doing partial response. <laughs> Walrus Punch on Hanskin. Wants to get off his ult, but the Necro unit just completely depletes his mana. And away Nip goes. Nice Avalanche hitting zero people. Johannes fan is going to get stuck inside the ice shards. Gets off the wall, only gets one illusion out of it. Why are you saying that like Lumi? I, I I cannot pronounce. Ja, is Johannes fan? Yeah, close enough. I, when it's in the heat of the battle, I just I just completely screwed up. Maybe I should just call him by the sponsor name. Is Vance going by? Why do you read Jonas no, as Johannes? Johannes? Isn't that what you said? Johannes I, fan. I, I think I've pronounced it like five different ways. Okay. Than, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. It's about one fast, I just have trouble with that. You could just call him Jonas, you know? That's... Well, that's just a typical American thing to do. I want to yeah. try, you know? Okay, then you call him Jonas Samfon. Jonas Samfon? Nako? Jonas Samfon? Is that... I don't even know what... Is that Nako? Huh? How do you say Nako? Is that Nako? The end of his name? Nako? I have no idea. Okay, I don't know what that I don't is. Know. Either way, that is... I believe they got the melee rack. You know what top. it means, though, right? Samfon. What? Some fawn. I've heard this the before. His no, I've heard this before though. Can't remember. <laughs> what's and the neither best, can you. What's the best translation for it? I I think the the official like the or the best translation I've read was Jonas as fuck. You know, like really Jonas. <laughs> I'm so Jonas. You're so Jonas. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Pretty I much. start getting charged up. He's There's gonna take the Avatar's combination, and he goes bye bye as well. Doesn't have a buyback. Goretz gets off the Tusk Snowball, but not going to do a whole lot. Is Sonic Wave coming into play? Arts gets destroyed. That's two for nothing. And uh, CS Reject is going back to the fountain. Goretz going to get slapped one more time by Era. And this looks to be GG in the making. Nick's going to take game one. Over. Triple kill for Era. So what does this mean exactly? They, I guess the analysts can go over this since we don't have the full information right now, depending on what the other games are going on right now. Uh, it Mean. I know if they get 2-0, oh, it's over. If they get first place, yeah, that's for sure. I, I don't remember know about off the top one. of my head. So if they draw now and Monkey Business wins 2-0, oh, there's a tie for first place. Yeah. That's the only possible outcome now, obviously, if, if they don't win. So the 0-2 is not a possibility. So they're guaranteed at least a tie for first now. Yeah, okay. I'm sure Slacks can tell you a lot more about that in a moment. Yeah, Slacks going to have to do his research in between. Uh, what did you think of this game overall? Obviously, started out quite clowny, then it got a little bit serious, as did our casting, <laughs> <laughs> and then it uh, got we just followed the flow of the game. Well, then Nip just ended up destroying in the end. I mean, it, it was kind of a weird game overall. Yeah.